come to Eternal Mana, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at Psalm 9, and today we want to look at verses 3 to 8, where the psalmist is addressing his enemies. My enemies will fall back and perish in your presence. I mean, David had to deal with many enemies. He had to deal with Goliath. He had to deal with Saul. And sadly, he had to deal with his own beloved son, Absalom. He had to deal with the Philistine nations, the Ammonites, the Moabites, and the list goes on. And David knows that uh, he had enemies and they were very powerful and uh, they were numerous. And uh, yet, in God's presence, these enemies are going to melt like wax. They are going to be no more. They are going to go into retreat and into oblivion. And so in verse 4, he says, you have vindicated me. Yes, our God is the God of vindication. David was slandered. David was falsely accused. But uh, he left uh, matters in God's hands. And uh, God came through for him. In God's own good time, God vindicated David. And if you are struggling today with uh, slander or false accusation or misunderstanding, uh, just leave it in God's hands. And God in his time will uh, uh, cause your righteousness to shine like the noonday sun. And then the psalmist says, you have endorsed my work declaring from your throne that it is good. I love this translation of the Bible where God has evaluated David's work. And uh, God has declared that work to be good, uh, seated from his uh, throne. So as we have just finished an old year and we have begun a new year, it is uh, good to ask ourselves the question, uh, how well have I served my God? Has God approved what I have done for him? Is he pleased with my work? Has my work for him been fruitful? Has it come from a life of integrity? And uh, can I hear God's applause? Well done over all what I have done for him over the past year. Verse 5, continuing the subject of enemies, you have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked, blotting out their names forever and ever. Yes, God rebukes the nations that uh, come against him and against his servants, and God uh, will stop them dead in their tracks. And again, the lesson for us is leave the enemies in God's hands. Don't attempt to fight them. The battle is the Lord's, and the Lord will deal with them in his own good time. And then in verses 6 to 8, uh, the psalmist is addressing the enemies. He's talking to them like a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Oh, enemies of mine. And then he uses three D words. You are doomed forever. The Lord will destroy your cities. Even the memory of them will disappear. So the Lord is going to take care of the enemies. They are doomed. Their cities are going to uh, be destroyed and their cities are going to disappear completely. And then in verses 7 and 8, the psalmist says, but the Lord lives on forever. It's good to remind ourselves that our God is the living God. He's the living God. He sits upon his throne. God is seated on his throne. God is in control. God knows everything that is happening today. And from his throne, God will judge, to judge justly the nations of the world. God is a righteous judge. He has all the facts. He knows all the details. He knows the inner motivations of the heart. And he will judge accordingly. So for today, whatever or whoever your enemy is, certainly the COVID is our enemy. And we can trust God to uh, deal with this enemy, to uh, wipe out this enemy. And we need to plead God's mercy. And uh, also to remember 
that one day I will have to stand before the judgment bar of God to give an account to him of my life. So let's so live our life that we will have nothing to be ashamed of on judgment day. God bless you and do have a good and godly day. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.